Hi Gemini, Someone Rising and Venus, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing your love reading for the month of July 2023. I'll be taking a look at your love interests as well as singles towards the end. Gemini, please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. And cross watchers, this could be vice versa. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and get right into it. Got you, this Holy Spirit. What is this person? Want to tell Gemini, Gemini's love interest. What do they want to tell Gemini, please? Okay, angels, Holy Spirit, give me clear messages. Okay, so under the deck, you do have in the very near future. On top of the deck, you do have I love you. And you have, listen, I am telling you the truth. You can trust my words. All right, Gemini. Well, something very significant will be happening in the very near future. We're going to go ahead and dig further using the tarot. Um, I feel that this person genuinely does have a lot of love for you. I'm not too sure if this is someone new or someone that you already have history with. But this person, they're wanting to let you know that they're being honest about something. Let's go ahead and dig further. Let's see what this is all about. Kind of just Holy Spirit. What is this person's feelings for Gemini? What is this person's feelings for Gemini? Five of Swords in Reverse and the Four of Swords in Reverse. Okay. Wow, a lot of chaos here. All right. Strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you do have the Ace of Cups under the deck, Cancer energy. So... What I'm seeing is, is that this person is losing a lot of sleep over you, okay? They feel like they're lacking a lot of peace. I feel a lot of chaos in this person's energy and their current situation, life, whatever it may be. I feel that this person, it's like they can't, pro like, they can't progress here. They can't move forward. They try to move on from you. They can't. They can't seem to forget you. They're losing sleep over you. Their mental health is struggling at this time. And, you know, I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you. You know, with the Ace of Cups here, this is someone who does love you. Let's see. Tell me more. What is this all about for Gemini? This person's feelings for Gemini. Yep. Nine of Swords. This person's going through something. I'm telling you. A lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, a lot of um, burdens that this person is carrying. They're lacking peace in their life over some drama that happened between you two, conflict, argument, disagreement, whatever it may be. I'm also picking up on Pisces, Leo for some of you. What is going on with this person? Why are they feeling this way towards Gemini at this time? Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh. Okay. So one of two things. Okay. You do have the Queen of Cups under the deck. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I'm, I'm getting a few stories, Gemini. This person may already be in a connection, a relationship, a marriage. They might have a family already. All that type of thing. And this person's feeling regret. They're feeling disappointment. They're feeling miserable in that situation. Okay. I just got to keep it real. For others of you, I feel like this person's just unhappy in general. And if you are in a relationship with this person, things may have been very wishy-washy between you two. There might be a lot of conflict, a lot of problems within the marriage, a lot of problems within the connection. Like, this is really taking a toll on this person's mental health. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups in reverse for Gemini. This person's feelings for Gemini. The Emperor in reverse. Somebody here... Was abusing their power. Okay. 
and Aries. Okay, you have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. This person might really be trying to overwork themselves or just focus on their finances to not think about this. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, this could be a third party situation. Or you could be dealing with someone who is like in a leadership role, very, very up there in their career, or maybe you worked with this person, you currently, you did or you do. Um, but this is someone who's just really, you know, it's interesting, Gemini, because I feel like they come off as like they're stable, they're grounded, they're doing just great, but they're not. They're not. Maybe you're not even aware of this. This person's feeling very stuck in their head to a sword. There's a lot of conflict around this person's energy. I feel like this person wants to come forward and offer you love or some type of forgiveness. What happened between these two? What happened? Gemini and this person. What happened? Okay. Yeah, for some of you, you did like collaborate with this person, worked with this person, or they were in their, they were like uh, somewhere around your community. This person could be feeling this way because they lied to you or they decided to go with someone, maybe an Aries Leo Sag, Pisces, okay, for some of you. Aries, Cancer, I don't know. But this person's feeling possibly bad for lying to you or for going with someone else and it didn't even work out with this person or it's not even working out. Let's see what actions this person's gonna take towards you. And maybe what's happening is that you no longer trust this person and they're actually being honest or they want to be honest with you, but you might not even trust them. And this is why they, they want to like let you know that um, you can trust their words, that they're being honest. And for others of you, they want you to believe them that they actually love you. I don't know. Because you may have questioned this person's intentions or love. And this person wants to let you know that they do love you. All right, let's go ahead and see what actions this person's going to take. Actions this person plans on taking towards Gemini. God, Angels, Holy Spirit. Three of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Fool card. Okay, I do feel like this person will be reaching out to you with the Page of Wands, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag. I do feel like this person is going to, like, gain the courage to reach out to you or gain the courage to talk to you about something. I feel like this you're dealing with an individual, Gemini, where they sacrifice a lot for other people. Like, their happiness. They put up with, like, narcissists. They, they I don't know. And I feel like this person's going to come forward, take a risk towards you very unexpectedly. You don't see this coming with the tower card. All right. They're coming in here with some news or they want to tell you something. Tell me more about this. And maybe this is why in the very near future it came out in the beginning of your reading. Tell me more actions this person plans on taking. What is this page of wands and the full card about? The lovers in reverse. Yeah, there's some trust issues here between you and this person. Or maybe you don't trust this person or there could have been something that went down. One second, Gemini. Apologize about that. A card flew out here. Yeah, I feel like this person has been watching you for quite some time. You do have the nine of wands. I can just fix this. Yeah, they've been keeping an eye on you here and I feel like Something happened here where the trust was broken. That's what I'm seeing. There was some conflict here. This person's wanting to talk to you about something that happened. This person's feeling like it's just exhausted at this point and they want to gain. I keep seeing courage in your reading. This person's going to gain the courage to like send you a message, reach out to you, tell you something. Tell me more about this energy. Yep. Very unexpected. You have the tower card. 
okay? I'm feeling Capricorn, could be a Scorpio for some of you, an Aquarius, Cancer, Aries, the star card. Yeah, this person's feeling a lot of despair. There's a lot of negative energy surrounding this person, a lot of chaos. They're an unhappy home. I don't know if this is a twin flame or wands in reverse. Either they're living with somebody or they were or they picked the wrong, I don't know. Whatever it may be, this person's in a very unhappy situation. Unhappy marriage, unhappy connection relationship. Jeez, this person's like... Yeah, the moon card, Pisces energy. For some of you, this person's on vacation or out of town, out of the state, something like that, out of the country. And as soon as they come back, I see them reaching out. Yeah, they're, they're feeling very burdened. Whoever this person is, they're going through something very painful. Ten of Swords. If this person betrayed you, it's kind of like they got betrayed by the person they left you for or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, Aries energy. They could be dealing with a very um, abusive person judgment yeah i see this person going through an awakening wanting to make a decision here wanting to tell you something yeah they want to come real quick here towards you the chariot cancer energy offer you something you can't they can't move on they can't move on from you this person can't move on from you so Expect to hear from this person. Expect news from this person. They're going through a really difficult time, Gemini. Some type of karma. Yeah. I opened the deck in half. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Pisces. Cancer. Aries. Very strong here in your reading. Aquarius. Gemini. Aries. I think I already said that. Aquarius. Hold on a second. Give me one more. What does this person want to tell? What does this person want to tell Gemini? Unresolved. So much has happened between us in the past. Can we work through it again? You see? I'm telling you, this person is going to want to come forward and work something out here with you because they're, you know, they're not at peace or something like that. All right, let's go ahead and see what's coming towards Gemini singles looking for new love. Gemini singles looking for new love. Got any Holy Spirit to make their messages? Gemini singles looking for new love. What can they expect in the month of July? Page of Swords. Someone's stalking you here, keeping an eye on you, trying to find information about you. Could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This is someone who has a lot of regret. There's someone here who's very... They have a lot of regret about something. Disappointment about things not working out with you. Two of Wands in reverse. The star card, Aquarius energy. I feel like there's a wish coming true here for you. Something that you've desired. Something that you've been hoping and wishing for. Um, something coming here. And also Spirit is saying don't lose hope when it comes to love. Like you might have been very disappointed in the past. But I see that um, Spirit is saying don't lose hope. The death card. Some, there's unfinished business here between you and someone else. Could be a Scorpio and Aquarius specifically. Yeah, I feel like things will be moving into calmer waters for you, Gemini. Yeah, and there's a message coming in for sure. Page of Wands twice here for those who are dealing with somebody and for the singles here. There's messages coming in here. Some of you are thinking about traveling. Um, I see your finances improving as well. Okay, your hard work being paid off. Possibly people fighting for your attention with the Five of Wands. Yeah. There's someone at a distance who misses you, okay? Someone at a distance or someone who, I'm hearing three to 10 years age difference. I don't know what that means for some of you. There's a three to 10 age difference between you two. Or this person may be at a distance. This could be someone who left you out in the cold. Um, they're in a very unhappy situation. They miss you. They think a lot about you. Um, they're strategizing how to come towards you, all right? Any new love here for Capricorn? I mean, I was gonna say Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, or it could be a Capricorn who's missing you, or I don't know. What the? All right, Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. There's a Libra here. Um, this person doesn't want to 
they want to like work things out with you apologize to you could be an aries for some of you this could be a something about some of you if you're going through a divorce i see you possibly working things out with this person or this person wanting to work things out with you yeah okay i keep seeing somebody who's in an unhappy marriage there's a lot of deception secrets yeah but there is i don't know something about somebody could be reconciling this month yeah there's a new beginning there's a lot of clarity coming in here for you a lot of truth answers clarity um and a possible union with someone okay it could be a soulmate uh cancer virgo here leo very strong libra all right well very interesting gemini if this didn't resonate feel free to check your other placements forget to like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and i will talk to you guys very soon bye